Here we go. All right, I need to get three PMC kills under 25 meters with the bolt action. And I need three PMC kills with a pistol. Which I probably should have comboed this with friend from the West. But I kind of just did friend from the West naturally. So it's not, not like a big loss. Also need toilet paper, which I think we can get pretty easily on this map. There's a kill we can go for. I'm going to want to pre-paint on this map because the bolt CQB. I'm going to end up losing some limbs probably. Which is rough because I don't have any CMS kits or anything of the sort. Number one down. Damn, son. Damn, part of me is like, extract. Take all this juicy loot back to your stash. We also just waited in a fucking long queue. Oh shit. Free and up room in the stash. We hit him. We did pick up one kill for the quest, so it's not the worst. It's not the best either. And this thing's damn cute. Okay. At least we freed up a little bit of room. That actually is kind of nice. There's really nothing we can do on interchange yet. And we're very close to having interchange quests. Oh, we're on setup now. Am I 18? Damn. We need to get a bolt action so I can go back to ground zero. There's really not much else we could do on interchange. Food items. I think I'm going to go reserve, actually. Honestly, fuck it. Let's go streets. Let's go streets. Because I have a marked room key that's just begging to give me a fucking ammo box. We'll make some good rubles. We'll get the stash upgrades we need. I'm going to try and gather enough food materials to barter for the hollow Dilnik. need two D bats as well. I don't remember what for exactly, but I know I need them. It's a barter for something. Two D bats and a green battery. Oh, for the B11. <laughs> That's so expensive, but for this B11 uh, right there. It's for gunsmith. I'll probably just end up getting it off of um, a player or a scav, but... That's yeah, worth checking. We're going to slow play this. Need Epsilon for anything? Yes, there's a quest at level 50. It's called the choice and you can turn in the Epsilon for like a decent amount of ruble and um, like 250,000 XP or some shit. That's a lot of XP. It might even be more than 250,000. I can't, I can't remember exactly. It might be 750,000. It's a lot. Can loot the backside of the mall. And then we can go loot um, filing cabinets. The backside of the mall has a lot of tech supply crates and stuff, so we can uh, likely get our 
Gas analyzer. I'd be I'd be very surprised if we don't get our strike cigarettes this round, just based on the sheer amount of filing cabinets. Like. Ooh, the hand drill if we need that. Whoa, what the fuck? That's my behind the counter. Oh, I should have should have checked it. Well, I'm gonna be one heavy bitch this round. You know, honestly, that armor is not all that heavy. Mm. Yes. Gotta go all the way across the map. cabinets to be your best bet there i think kaban's up too bro i would fucking love to kill kaban with on this account but we're already like way too full to go do that way too full we gotta get we gotta get over to crash site or yeah we gotta go get over to crash site that's gonna be a bitch. We gotta make this sprint. This is the most difficult sprint right here. I hit this food crate actually first. See if we can't score our strike cigarettes. That was a player scab. I'm on streets to get um, gas analyzers. I was hoping to get strike cigarettes. I need to make a little bit of ruble as well so I can upgrade my stash space. I needed the hand drill for that too. There's one other thing. I have to visit the stores, but I don't have the sausage yet. So that's not as much of a necessity. Oh, toilet paper too. Fuck, I forgot about that. I didn't think I saw any toilet paper though. I'll upgrade hideout just so I can craft, but I don't plan on really maxing it, no. The 
home stretch. It's right there. We got two armors this round. The 60 rounder, the two gas analyzers, huge 100 rounds of an 855. Bunch of good craft items and hideout upgrade items. The hand drill. Another horse. That's our fourth horse, I believe. Some stuff to sell. The D-Bat. So we can trade for the B-11. Big round here. Stay back. Don't come over here. I'm extract camping. I'll kill you. Me and my homies will. Finally, dude. Well, bam. It's not worth going for Epsilon or Beta container. Yes, I do plan on going for the Beta container. I just don't know what the barter is for it or if it's just straight cash. I need to sell more with him. Okay, I really need to make sure we hit filing cabinets because I need one toilet paper to get the bad rep evidence key then we go to customs we knock out four quests actually i don't know i can't get into 114. 114 is gonna be a bitch i hope this is calling ty it is I was moving way too slow. He had an MDR too. That would have been nice to have. Realistically, I should have disengaged. <laughs> I need to get a mask immediately though. My bald ass head's going to stick out. We need strike cigarettes. That's what we're looking for. And toilet paper. I do not remember if you can get toilet paper out of filing cabinets. There we go. Start the paper in your filing cabinets. Oh, uh, the filing cabinet. It, filing cabinets actually can be really good loot, but it also, you know, you can get a bunch of low tier stuff. But you can you can make a crazy amount of money if you just go through and loot the filing cabinets. Especially on like scab runs and stuff. It's not going to be as like high tier as going and looting rare items out of um, rooms, but this is going to be the last set of finally cabinets I loot. We don't get the toilet paper here. I'm going to go look elsewhere. If we go over to collapse cream, what extract do we have? Crash site damage house, okay. Did 
Gs. He didn't have ears on. He had that Ronin mask. So he did not hear me walking at all there. I think I got the two D bats that I needed. Uh, this would be about the point that it's worth getting to the extract. But first, let's hit the smiling cabinet. Alright. I think I work over to. Crash site. And we go through collapse crane. I could go to ground zero with a pistol because I need three pistol kills. End up getting a VPO. There. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. So get it. Contact twos as well. These are these were AI. Scary. Hmm. I do want this helmet. the paper. That's all we need. And hose, actually. I didn't need, didn't need the hose. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're 68.9 out of 69. What is that shit? Skamazed, dude. Skamazed. 
Alright, gotta ditch that boy. It's, he's too heavy. He's weighing us down. There's 100k? Yeah, but I can't flea market it. No flea market on this account. Woods med camp? Yeah, that's all I'm thinking too. I don't have any quests on woods. Oh my god, that aimed on side speed. We just creep into his vision. One, one, one. I have found toilet paper a few times already, and I'm like, oh, this is such a common item. I won't. I won't not be able to find this later. Yeah, TJ, I very easily could, and I did uh, I did one rogue run to get some kits, but I don't have room in my stash for kits right now. I say that with a full bag of kits. We did get our last pack of cigarettes, so that's pretty nice. I think after Bad Habit, I will unlock... I could be wrong, but I think after Bad Habit, I lock, unlock the thing to turn in the three... 60 rounder AKs. Wait, never mind. Oh, I didn't complete it. Yeah, okay. Pistol. You got a modding and what's the mag? Yeah, I think we go to ground zero so I can get these pistol kills and we can grab a couple bolt actions. The chances of getting a bolt action on ground zero is really high with the VPO. And I can get toilet paper. Yep. I should have brought it in a backpack actually so I could take the VPOs. Might get one off a player or something. At this point, I'm just being stubborn with the toilet paper. There are quests that we can move on and do. I think since I'm under 21 or 20 and below, I think it's worth going in with the pistol, killing players. Because I need three kills with the pistol, three PMC kills. Then killing a scav and trying to score a VPO or two would be ideal kill players under 25 meters i need two pmc kills under 25 meters with a bolt and three pistol kills the pistol kills i'm not as worried about because i can do those on any map really easily the under 25 meters that's also a gatekeeping quest so as long as i can get that done it'll open up the other tarkov shooters which would be nice because i have a good bolt for tarkov shooter oh you know what i can dehydrate myself for five minutes on this map because we'll end up getting more than enough Hydration. What a bled, what a year. Bizet. He's got VPO. Score. The gore nasty. Actually, I do want this other one in there. We got, we got 42.45. We just got chill with the dehydration for five minutes and we'll be done with that quest as well. The landmine in this building scared the fuck out of me the first time I did it. First time I ran this map. I did, I was waiting for Will to uh, finish, to be able to like log in at the start of the wipe because, you know, server issues and stuff. And I was exploring this map offline. Dude, I ran into that mine. It scared the 
piss out of me. We got movement to the right. Everything's so quiet now. VPO fight! Oh my god, I need to never use the VPO again in my life because I can't hit shit. Forgive me, scab. There's a second VPO for me though, which is nice. He's got a suppressed VPO, I think. They go nasty. Honestly, not that worried about having a scope. That, that scope's not very good either. Maybe use it to clear out the rogues. But. It's, it's good to take honestly after thinking about it because I'm not gonna use this this round I'm gonna stick to this one and uh, I can just sell it I need stuff to vendor anyways both extra and plus yeah I'm gonna use to shoot a boring oven on this account I'm gonna use whatever I have available um, typically I do the VPO with AP ammo and go CQB or the DVL and go CQB I, I like pushing people. Okay, so ground zero is maybe not the move for this. Or I took too long off the start searching for paper. Which is likely the issue. Damn, here's two PMCs. It has been a minute. Howdy. How you been, brother? Appreciate the continued support. Oh my god, so this is where everyone was. Fuck.
Oh, these dudes probably uh, the guy that went and shot across the map just now probably made out like a bandit oh i can't remember if if can, does this take the plates from a um crund because i have a level six crund front plate i guess i can get a propane tank and do the trade for it that'd be easy Damn, so they threw down over here. This is a war zone right off the start. <laughs> now this is across the map. I'm like the only one over there. Just looting up. Turn power off. Let's get this craft going for toilet paper. It's only 26 minutes, so we can do a raid. A lot of these I just need to spend more money with and I'll have them leveled up. So this, that's, that's also one of our main objectives right now then. Fuck, dude. I need the stash upgrade stat, which is really not that far off of having. I, I I want all this stuff, which is the shitty part. Like all of it can be used. We can get rid of that. As soon as we get the stash upgrade, we'll be golden to fill up and have even less space. This is the hardest part of the hardcore count, though, on the real. All right, this next round, I, I anything extra I get, I'm just fucking vendoring. Yeah, that's it. I'm about to get nasty with the gore nasty. I really just need the bolt action kills so we can move on to Tarkov Shooter 4. And I want to do that before we hit 21. Because doing bolt action kills under 25 meters is just much easier on this map. I could get a factory to do it. On a hardcore account, the factory could... Well, on any account, really, the factory can... You know, you can, you can lose your gear sets really quickly on factory. You can on this map too, but since I can't very, you can't easily get a bunch of um, snipers. I want to get this done on this map. That's a press shot up ahead. It's going to be better to be stemmed up. I'm going to grab some hydration here. Fight, good fight. I had to get to him under 25 meters because anything over would be a waste. So I had to wait there for a second. Two sniper for Shubar in heaven, VPO or the DBL. Yeah, let's go for that guy.
Oh, I even went in there. See, I'm looking for some food, but I need to get this kill over here. I think he's up in the building. Not this one, but the next one. Which would be ideal for me because I need to play off some hard cover. I forgot this guy just shot us one. I hope he didn't go downstairs and leave. Oh, he's there. Sorry, brother. Your sacrifice was worth it. SKS Max wouldn't be bad to take, but you can also top load the SKS. Which isn't super ideal, but it's fine. I don't have any room in my stash anyways. I'm, I'm going to sell them. Pretty much all the stuff that I can't put up. All right, done with that map. Unless we want to go back and pistol some fuckers. Nah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, that's 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 good. That's good. We're golden, dude. Bringing in an extra meds. Don't really need all of them, but okay. We're about to go get four quests done on customs. Got all the keys we need. Let's fucking do it. Um, actually, kind of a good spawn for us. I, think I heard someone inside there. It's a good scope in front of me. The Razer audio pro or yeah, audio profile is weird. I don't really like it. Make sure include fence now, because I can't scab. Although wind sprite. It wouldn't surprise me to get close to uh, max fence by the time we're done with this. Oh, dude, I thought I headshot him there. Uh, doing setup. Yeah. That ergo is rough. Fuck. And to check this. This isn't a bad spawn. We'll just kind of slow play it. And green tracer. Terrifying. It happens, shootable. It's happened before. Dude, 
I saw the dead scab there. I should have kept moving. At least we're freeing up space in the stash. Silver lining. This is the big one right here. I could try to do is get over to the shack that I have to, to loot for the quest. Grab that, go to dorms. Grab that key. Like we, we, this might, I might try to make this a fast trade, honestly. The spawn we had, it, it's kind of awkward because it's not super high priority to dorms, but it's close enough that I can hopefully get there quickly. This was a little bit in an awkward position on like timing. Sit, sitting and waiting there for a long time. There's not not much I can do. When I spawn on the far side, it's like, okay, like you have to slow play it. When you spawn in the middle like this, slow playing could, is just as likely to get you killed as trying to move fast. It's like the flow on customs, there's two different waves, the east side and west side, and they have to go to the opposite side of the map to extract. And so they start working their way to the opposite side of the map and they clash somewhere in the middle. And if you're sitting in the middle, you might, you might get hit from both. There's that guy. <laughs> Should have scroll wheel reloaded. I just need to get up to 303 and then I can take off. Holy shit, there's so much going on, dude. There should be a second dude on this hill. I think he's just overwatching. Get him, boys. No, don't come over here. What quest am I doing? Uh, four of them. I have to get up into dorms. Room 303. I also have to get in director's office. I have to go plant the, uh, the gold pocket watch over across the map. I got in direct or the the bunkhouse key already. I have to get into room 114. So I'm hoping one of these fuckers unlocks it. I wonder if creeping through the but oh it's boss.
Foto! Thor armor is kind of clutch. Tough cars up. Cars not up, okay. I'm going to be heavy as. I feel like there's 100% still someone nearby. That's Rishala's body. Where's all the bloodshed? Where'd, where'd everyone die at? They gotta be like outside in the fucking bushes. Like there's like 100% someone chilling over there up on Sniper Mountain or outside the building. Damn, that's not open. That's all I was hoping for. Someone would have unlocked 114.
Okay. Catching. I am a fucking loot goblin, I will admit. I don't really think I need the BT ammo. I don't know how much of it, it got nerfed this swipe. Let's roll. Oh, the thing I like about the Krund is I have a level 6 front plate for it. Stash holding zip line. Now I need to get over there. I don't know if I have enough time. We should be fine. What I can do is get this loot close to the extract. There is an extract by the Zibo drop off. Yeah. So it might be better just to go straight over that way. But I think that Zibo plant's like 30 seconds long. I can 100% go up into Big Red and get the object. I honestly think I could run over and plant too. I think I'd be fine. We got time. Doors are already open for us. So we don't have to waste time unlocking it. We got time to spare. That's a big one. I think I was in the zone when that happened. We picked up some uh, good armors there. That was huge.
Nope.